hello and welcome guys after a long time i'm again reviewing my channel so i came up with some azure services so let's start with azure form recognizers so i have learned this one guys three to four months back i implemented this and now i want to share the same concept with you so what is a form recognizer or what is a form recognizer Form recognizer analyze your forms and documents, extra text and data, map field relationship at key value pair, and return a structured JSON output so that you can get accurate results that are tailored to your specific content without excessive manual intervention or excessive data science expertise. Then we are going to use Azure form recognition. So, Azure form recognizer is a cloud-based Azure applied AI service that use machine learning model to extract key value pair, text and tables from your document. So there are few pre-inbuilt format are there like invoices and uh, receipts, ID cards, and you can, you can design your custom learning model also. So today we are going to see how to extract data from invoice next session we are going to see how to extract data from receipt and third session we are going to see how to extract data from id card okay so for this i already created a blazor server application So this is my Blazor server application. I created one file upload form. So if you don't know how to upload file using Blazor server app, I already created a video regarding uploading file. I will give the link on i button. You can check it out. And today's session to using Azure form recognition, we are going to use azure.ai.form recognizer, a NuGet package from Microsoft, and azure dot identity also we are going to use azure form recognition so you can see here form recognizer you can create one form recognizer by clicking create i already created this so if you go to manage key so here you can find your keys and your endpoint i will show you after creating this video i will delete my subscription okay so this is my form. So if I select any file, so here I kept some invoices. So this is invoice. So you can see it's uploading to here. So it's uploading to, if you go to this section says uploaded files. Okay. So you can see this path is coming here. Now we are going to add our Azure form recognizer. So go to your solution for this application i'm using visual studio 2022 dotnet core 6.0 blazor server app so go to manage new get packages install this one to your application Guys, forgive about this background noise. I'm not using any mic. My mic was destroyed. I'm directly using my laptop mic. So, and agio.identity. So these two new data packages we required to install in our application. Okay, next. Next, we need to go to our form recognizer resource endpoint we need to copy this endpoint and we need to copy this key also okay so now i am going to my invoice form so in our application let's go to data add one model so here i'm adding one model so let's give in doc model 
I'm adding two properties, one doc field ID where I'm showing you. So let's go to this invoice PDF. Okay, so what is the field ID means what is the field ID and what is the field value? I'm going to store in these two properties, right? So let's add this one. Okay, we already added data folder. Okay. So inside our inside our Azure component, I'm going to add few namespaces which is using Azure, Azure.ai.form recognizer, form recognizer dot models. Okay. Next is I'm going to add two lists. One is inside my class section here. One is my main data document main and one is item record which is a list okay i'm going to add my key and api endpoint in the class level so this is my endpoint this is my api key i'm creating a azure credential api key next here i am uploading the file to my this path actually here i'm creating a client from from form recognize recognizer client where i am binding this endpoint and credential now i'm creating the option using us english next this file path i'm making it to file mode open then i'm creating one class a azure form recognition model recognize invoice operation invoice means i'm going to Op operate with this invoice format now a pre-built invoice okay i'm going to upload this file and give this download link in the video description so you can check the source code also so here i'm keeping an invoice mentally and I'm initializing here. Then here I'm getting recognized from invoice equal to this invoice has value dot single. So it will get single value. Then it will loop the data and it will add to this list. Right? So here I'm adding one HTML format to display the field ID and field values and item id and item values so up to here we return how to get the main item so here i'm keeping it doc dot key because this this coming with key value pair i already told you that it extra the text and data and field relationship as key value pair so as key value pair is returning i'm checking if key is not equal to item then it is adding adding to the main field or else Next thing is to get the items. So if content item, then I'm looping through the item. Item will key value pair again and adding to the keys and the value text. Now let's run the application. Guys, this is my Azure the form recognition endpoint and my keys. After this videos, I'm going to delete my resource. So you need to create your own form recognition resource and need to bind this keys and endpoint. So run the application. Guys, I'm thinking to create next four session of Azure form recognitions. So this session is for pre-built invoice. And I'm going to create a session for uh, ID card and business card. So let's choose the file. I'm choosing the invoice format, which is this format. So wait for some second, data is loading. So before that, I'm going to show you, look, okay, with the field ID and field value. So you can see 
the amount due date everything you can see come to in the section uh, billing address billing address reception customer address so you can see the customer address bill to ship to okay and if you come down to this so you can see item field what are the items amount description quantity price so you can see consulting fee hundred dollars so here also consulting fee hundred dollar unit price so this table i am getting here so in this way we can recognize our invoices thank you